In today's video, I'll answer your question, what is the definition of worship? Then afterward, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. In the Bible, the Hebrew word translated as worship literally denotes the act of bowing down. The Greek word rendered as worship means to encounter God and praise Him. Both terms seem to define worship as an activity or an action. However, an accurate depiction of biblical worship extends beyond mere activity. A better, more comprehensive definition of worship can be summarized in this statement. Worship is the reverential response of creation to the all-encompassing magnificence of God. In his book, Real Worship, Warren Worsby submits this definition of worship. Worship is the believer's response of all that he is, mind, emotions, will, and body, to all that God is, and says, and does. It is a loving response that is balanced by the fear of the Lord. And it is a deepening response as the believer comes to know God better. Worship is the ultimate purpose for which humans were created. God said, I have made them for my glory. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 7. Worship is the believer's way of life. Everything we say and do should be an act of worship before God. Worship cannot be defined solely by physical observances because true biblical worship is centered on God and His unparalleled greatness. It is not attending a church service, singing, playing an instrument, lifting hands in praise, and bowing down. These acts are all elements of worship, but not the totality of it. They can also be evidence of worship, but authentic worship reaches beyond outward demonstrations or corporal performances into countless expressions of the human heart, replying to God's revelation of himself, his purposes, and his will. Worship originates with an inward posture of the heart that is always bowed down in humble, awe-filled recognition of God's worthiness, honoring and revering him at all times as the supreme authority over one's life. Jesus told the Pharisees and scribes they were like people in Isaiah's day who honored God with their lips, but their hearts were far from him. According to Jesus, such worship was false. True worship can only come from a heart that has been redeemed and in right relationship with God. We must be born again and filled with the Holy Spirit before we can know God and respond to him in spirit and in truth. John chapter 4 verse 23. Worshiping God in spirit and truth involves loving Him with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Mark chapter 12, verse 30. The Apostle Paul's definition of worship reflected this all-encompassing devotion of one's life to God. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. True worship is God-focused. He is the only appropriate object of our worship. To worship anything or anyone else is idolatry. Genuine, God-centered worship exalts the Lord only. It is offered for His pleasure alone because He alone is worthy. A simplified definition of worship can be stated as a continual heart attitude of bowing down in reverence and humility before the Supreme Lord and Creator of the universe. Worship is the heartbeat of the believer's existence, a lifelong celebration of the worthiness of God. To worship is to respond with one's whole being in adoration, exaltation, humble submission, and obedience to God. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hand. Psalm chapter 95, verses 6 and 7. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content, and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend, along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch, or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.